Hi, I'm Erin from Fabricate, and today I'm going to walk you through NFC issues on your Ultimaker 3, Ultimaker 3 Extended, Ultimaker S5, or Ultimaker S3 machine. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to check is that your filament is in fact NFC enabled Ultimaker filament. So in addition to it needing to be Ultimaker filament, you also want to make sure that you actually have the NFC antenna in place. If this cardboard ring is missing, then it's not going to have anything to read because this is your NFC antenna. Slide that right back into place. The next thing to check will be to make sure that the cable is plugged into the right spot on the printer. On the Ultimaker 3 and Ultimaker 3 Extended, it plugs into the Olimex board on the underside of the machine. So you might have to hunt for it for a minute if you're not familiar with where that goes. On the S3 and the S5, it's going to plug into the NFC port at the back of the S5 or the S3. Now, if you're still not detecting and you've confirmed that you've got the right filament, the NFC tag is present, and that the cable is plugged in where it should be, the next thing to check will be to reseat the cable with the internal board inside the rear holder. And I'm going to walk you through that now. You're going to need your two millimeter hex head screwdriver or another small screwdriver. Okay, we've got our screwdriver and we've got the rail holder. So the rail holder is comprised of four parts. We've got a small plastic part here on the lower side, the larger plastic part on the upper, the cable, and the antenna board. You can just barely see the antenna board right there. So to go ahead and get that antenna board out so we can reseat the cable, we're going to press down on the tab here or here. There we go. So we have our cable and our board. There's the Ultimaker robot if you haven't seen him in a while. Fit that back together. Slide the board into the hole. Route the cable through the channel. Slide that back into place. Pop the clips in, and you are all set. Nine times out of 10, this should solve your NFC issues. If you're still seeing NFC issues, you might need a new rear holder, but in general, this usually does the trick. 